So Infinity Ward just revealed the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer with Call of Duty next, so let's check it out. They knew that Modern Warfare 2 was going to be the big franchise changing kind of game and they want to advertise it that way. Warzone 2.0, knew that was coming. Warzone on mobile, we knew that was coming as well. I hope we don't really see too much of that, to be honest. We got a few new clips in here, but most of this we've already seen in previous trailers and stuff like that. Call of Duty next. Let's get into it, man. I'm excited. Don't forget, if you are enjoying the video that you're watching so far, guys, make sure you tap that like button. It literally is the best way to support the content on this channel. But also state-of-the-art tech advancements built to support a more connected Call of Duty community than ever. Yeah, they say this every year. This is just corporate speak to me. Imagine if Halo did this, it'd be so cool. Oh my God, it's Ninja. Ah! In DMZ that has large player counts along with math. Dude, they just mentioned DMZ. That's like the first time I've heard them actually mention it. Just gonna casually drop DMZ like that. Everything we do is in the service of fun. Whether you're a hardcore player or a casual player. Are you sure about the fun? Because uh, skill-based matchmaking would say otherwise. We've connected the gun with the actual bullets coming out of it. So now- Wait, now you're just like advertising that you did the animations with like guns like this is something that's been in every call of duty i mean yeah like modern warfare 2018 definitely revolutionized how like that feel of cod is but like is that really something worth advertising first time ever we're gonna release a raid in call of duty it's a, a raid kind of gameplay it's very intense we think it's very fun um and, and we're super excited about it and talked about raids but like didn't really say what they are all right here's a multiplayer reveal guys hey well that's a little bit of a story element right there it, what it's just black what this is working right is something going on with my screen oh my god they like completely messed it up oh just destroy the campers above the building okay farm 18 we've seen this map previously the like cameras okay i heard you can like link them together or something right i heard about that one yeah we shoot cl while climbing a ladder so the ac-130 is returning oh and this is the new war zone map you can climb out of the vehicle to get on top to shoot dude that's cool yeah, that's really cool. You can have a drone type of kill streak or equipment or something. You can take out air vehicles. That's gonna be huge. A floating trip by, dude. Hell yeah. I'll do third person mode? That's gonna be interesting. Like third person war zone? Or will you be able to use third person perspective while playing? I think they said mode. And there we go. There's the trailer. I might have to go back and see some of the stuff because the stream wasn't working. <laughs> there we, go. we can actually see this part now. I guess I decided to show it again just because, like, yeah, we kind of messed it up on stream. And so, assassinations returning. Expected that to happen. Oh, that's an interesting mechanic. Is that like a sniper with a shield on it? You pull out your pistol to shoot or something? Um, and we just put them into three big groups. Uh, we call them rushers, which are just aggressive players. They just want to find the action and go. And then we have sentinels. Um, and these are defensive players. They want to just kind of hold down a building. Maybe we'll keep a little... Sentinels. That's a good way to call them. Just they're campers, man. Which are reactive. And they kind of hang back and try to read the field and read where um, spawns are. And really, we just kind of use these as filters to keep us honest with the content that we're making. I would say that is probably like the three main play styles of Call of Duty. You got the rushers, you got the campers, you got the guys that kind of more reactionary then go into it. I'm kind of a little mix between like the reactionary, uh, the stalker that they called it, and the rusher. A little bit between the two. Okay, so we're going to be learning about the gunsmith, maps, the betas. Okay, cool to know. Aquatic combat with vehicles in the water. I didn't hear anything about the vehicles in the water when it comes to these leaks, so that's going to be interesting how it plays out in warzone or maybe even multiplayer this is actually okay that's actually a fair balance to be able to use your pistol while underwater i would hate to be able to like you're in like black ops 3 i think you're able to use your fully auto weapon underwater that's actually kind of nice to be able to peek with a pistol just because there's so many times in call of duty people are camping up on elevated positions that you kind of really expose yourself to climb up a ladder you got the dive bag but the dolphin dive bag in the game that's gonna be interesting it's one way to nerf uh Drop shotting. And this is a mine that you can throw out, and it basically sits there. And if a player gets close to it, it auto deploys and uh, basically inflates like. <laughs> oh my god, there's gonna be so many great memes about that. That's gonna be hilarious. When it goes off, you can throw it in water. And here you just saw the, the DDoS. We added all this equipment into this game, and the DDoS is our, our kind of answer of like, hey, I'm gonna breach this building. I wanna go clean house, but I don't wanna deal with all the shit inside. So I'm gonna hit the DDoS, boom, it's gonna shut down Perfect everything, and I can move in. Oh yeah, the DDoS is gonna be nice for moving into environments. Hopefully you can shut down claymores and different camping materials. Okay, yeah, you can patch it to your teammates' angles when it comes to that. That sounds like some more, probably a little bit more useful when it comes to like search and destroy or war zone as well. 
But like for regular 66, I don't really see myself using it a whole lot. It makes sense, but it's a little confusing. So I need to like actually play myself to really understand it and really understand if this is a good system. I do like the universal attachment unlock a lot. It's, I was actually playing Modern Warfare recently and having to like grind out like all the attachments for a growl where it's like, I just want to use some Merc Foregrip like I have in all my other weapons. Okay, so each platform it's shared. So then like basically if you need to unlock something again. So it seems like each platform is going to have its own set of attachments. So if you're like the M4 platform, platform unlock things are there the ak platform it's a real unlock things are there so there's still a little bit of regrinding but it sounds better of these we've really fine-tuned that they can play core large-scale core modes like ground war um uh, see so they're borrowing areas from the battle royale map into ground war it's one thing that i didn't want to see happen hopefully they intended to make these points of interest designed with that in mind and then transpose them the battle royale but we just have to wait and see. So the maps uh, for 6v6, um, in comparison to the last game, they're just um, a little bit more straightforward, a little bit more refined, and um, I think fans will really- Map 66 maps being a little more straightforward and refined, that's exactly what we'll want to hear. There was way too many doors, way too many windows. The clutter was a bit much for visual clarity to really find out players. So again, once we play the game, we'll finally truly understand if they actually lived up to their statements. I think the visuals on this look really good and the water is like right in the middle of the map. So it's definitely gonna be key. Yeah, there's some elevation there, but nothing too crazy. It looks pretty flat. So it would be pretty simple to understand when it comes to a multiplayer, 32 player versus 32 player map. Okay, Mercado Las Almas. Looking pretty good. The lack of doors within that hallway right there is quite interesting. Let's see if that's a design choice moving forward. I, mean, I don't expect to see doors completely removed from the game, though I didn't see any there from that showcase, which is actually kind of nice. Grand War plays. It's the one place where I think Call of Duty could really capitalize where Battlefield fell down. There's Invasion. Hey, they're stealing it from Halo, man. They took Warzone from Halo. Now they're taking Invasion. 20v20 with 20 AI on each team. That's interesting. So it's Invasion. Only objective is to eliminate or be eliminated. So basically it's just like large scale Slayer with AI mixed in with it. Okay, I mean like that's interesting. Prisoner Rescue and Knockout. Brand new modes. Okay, so Prisoner Rescue here says... To locate the hostages and get them out alive or defend them at all costs. No response, revise, enable. So, okay, kind of like an attack defense kind of mode with, uh, you know, one life kind of situation. Should be pretty interesting. That no, might be one of those kind of new modes. Where like, yeah, it's nice, but I don't really see a whole lot of people playing it. Third person view, it's like, they did this before and no one really cared for it. It was a straight up mode. I don't, just don't see a lot of people playing the third person mode. It's the same thing. Looking look they might try it in different modes. I mean, I, I think it could work in Battle Royale, but I mean, with a first person shooter, third person angle is always really rough because you can peak angles without actually having to peak your character, which is the risk reward of intel of knowing where your enemy players are. I am not really looking forward to that. So I'm happy to say that Special Ops will return as our third mode and will be focused on two player missions, asymmetrical in game design. So think one. Oh, so classic Spec Ops. Thank you. Oh, that's gonna be so great. Special Ops was like, it didn't hit right with Modern Warfare 2019. So this looks seems, it seems to be like it's gonna be an upgrade. Oh God, some PlayStation exclusivity kicking in right here. Oh, so you get like a weird like, Samurai stabby dude if you're a PlayStation player. Uh exclusiveness is weird. It's an Oni operator, dude. They're stealing so much from Halo. And these dates still hurt me. I'm a PC player and have to wait till September 22nd to be able to play. And week early campaign access. Like, God, you're gonna make me have to pre-order. You're gonna make me pre-order. Oh, we're gonna learn about the new map. What's new about Warzone? And DMZ is finally getting revealed. Okay, let's get into it. And here it is, the overview of the new map. This looks basically identical to what the leaks showcase as well. You can see how the water does kind of travel through the entire map. So you can probably find ways to try to traverse with like a boat or something throughout the entire map, at least for the majority of it. So that's be very interesting. We see Quarry in here. Maybe it's a remake from Modern Warfare 2. Hopefully. I heard airport's gonna be a remake of Terminal. Oh, this is even bigger than Verdansk. Sheesh. Let's take a better look at some of these points of interest. I mean, it's beautiful location. No smoking, by the way. Dude, it's Quarry. It's actually Quarry from Modern Warfare 2. Let's go. Yes. Love that map, man. Oh, heck yeah. Rahan Oil. Oh, is that similar to like 
the thing from uh, oh it's a dude that's from Modern Warfare 3 isn't it hot car village village oh dude that's from call of duty 4 holy crap almazo city okay i think this looks like a new point of interest right here marshlands not recognizing this one a whole lot or is this from like ghost or something this is definitely terminal this is absolutely terminal from Modern Warfare 2 yes i'm very excited about it Tired city i'm not really recognizing this one this looks brand new Sawa Village. This looks new to me as well. Lots of water taking place in this thing right here. Harak Village looks new to me as well. Hydroelectric as well. Okay. They keep mentioning the water so much. They're so proud that they were able to make it work in this game. And I think it'd be good for Warzone and maybe even Ground War maps. But uh, for 66, I kind of hope to not see much of it. They're still, they took the tires off of Halo. Come on, man. So much, they're just taking Halo and putting it in Call of Duty. I do like the position switching that's coming in with this game as well. That's gonna be huge. Oh, they have gas limitations with them though. That's good too. You can actually fill them by gas stations. <laughs> Dude, I hope uh, the price of petrol's not too high in uh, this world. <laughs> Leaning out shooting unless some, combat. Unless somebody blew off your door. That won't. Uh, that's oh, we can blow off the doors. I heard about all about this. Yeah, blowing off the tires, blowing off the doors and stuff like that. A lot more on foot counter ability when it comes to vehicles. I'm definitely looking forward to that when it comes to Warzone in this game. Proximity chats can be hilarious. There's gonna be such great like meme content from that. Hmm, Stanic spawn points for loot. That's gonna be an interesting dynamic when it comes to looting and choosing places to drop and stuff like that. The circle can split. What is going on? Okay, that's an interesting mechanic right there. That could be really interesting right there. We'll see how the player traversal is going to be when it comes to like the convergence areas, but new multi-circles and closures. Okay. That'd be, that's a nice little tweak on the BR experience. I'm kind of, I'm liking that idea. Please make the Google like just simple. Just like how it was when it first launched. Okay. That's me. Actually, I kind of like that a little bit more. I never really am a big fan of 1v1s because it seems like a big game of chicken. We got duels in there, kind of like gunfight basically, throwing in as the gulag. Okay. Yeah. I'm liking that idea. And strongholds, again, this is taken from Halo, man, I swear. <laughs> okay, so like AI controlled POIs, say if you take out all the AI, you get to have some awesome loop. Sounds like a fair balance. So DMZ, I can also confirm that DMZ is real. <laughs> but we're not gonna go into depth on it today because we do have to keep some stuff in reserve. What I can tell you though, is we've created a rich sandbox where you can define your own win condition. It is played across the whole map and the AI is occupying large sections of the map. They patrol areas, they occupy strongholds, and they'll reinforce based on players' actions. You can choose which mission you want to accomplish, or you can chase after a variety of, of activities in the world. And you can play this differently depending on your playstyle. You can go loud, like I always do. You can go quiet, or you can hunt other players or avoid them entirely. Or you could just decide, hey, I'm going to explore the secrets of Almazra and see what's there. Okay, so it sounds basically like Escape from Tarkov, but well, within Warzone, but like, what's going to be the benefit of extraction? Why are you going in? Just like get like XP for like unlocks or something? I don't know. November 16th. Okay. I heard December. I do know, I did know that it was going to release later, but this is good to see that. Let the multiplayer launch, let the people play the campaign. Have a second wave of hype with the release of Warzone 2.0. Oh, they're playing on Verdansk. This is the mobile version of Warzone, looks like. Yep, it's the mobile version. I saw the animations, like, they don't look very true to Call of Duty's art style, so... Yeah, mobile. Yeah, it's happening. Uh, other thing, we didn't see a loadout. Is loadout in or not in, or did no one buy one, or what's the deal there? So right now in the build, the, the loadout drops are not in, and you, you're okay. using... Um, you're going to buy stations and you're going to strongholds to acquire the rest of your loadout so you can go in you can select have weapon setups etc that you'll then find the buy station and and inside the uh the strongholds as well okay so at the strongholds where the buy stations are so if you want to bring in your loadout okay that's interesting i like that more because i felt like it was always way too easy to get like your meta loadout ready to go and then you don't have to bother looting at all for like the rest of the game. So that's Modern Warfare 2's multiplayer. They showed a decent amount of stuff right there. Uh, most of it was focused on Warzone because well most people who are playing Call of Duty are playing Warzone. I think that's what people really wanted to know about. 
Me, personally, I still love my 6v6 and I tried out Ground War Modern Warfare 2019 to lack luster response, but I do feel like that par portion of the game has the opportunity to really capture what Battlefield 2042 completely missed out on. Uh, but yeah, not a whole lot of 6v6 being talked about. I think they didn't mention any perks or anything like that. It's all about Warzone, 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 which I mean, kind of makes sense. Focus where people are playing, focus on where the money is. So that does make sense. Uh, it does sound like I have more reveals later on. So hopefully we get to know more about other aspects of the multiplayer when it comes to Call of Duty, because this is going to be an absolutely massive game. The new mode DMZ does seem to be interesting. They didn't really seem to touch on a whole lot about like what your assignments are. It seems like there might be some kind of challenges tied to them to go in to play DMZ with the AI and versus players. Uh, but it'd be interesting to see like what you need to accomplish to make you want to extract out of the game rather than being like the last people standing. Is this still going to work like a regular war zone? Is it kind of like a persistent world kind of thing? I don't know. Like I said, we'll have to learn more about it, but it does seem very interesting. It was kind of funny how like the very beginning, the guy mentions DMZ and they're like, dude, that was supposed to be the big announcement. You just kind of just said it. That's the first time they actually confirmed DMZ in the game officially. It seems like all the new mechanics that they brought into this game, they brought back dolphin diving, the ladder climbing position installed to shoot over. That seems like a good addition as well. Hopefully it's not too campy when it comes to especially 6v6. I can see it working out very well when it comes to Warzone. The swimming mechanic seems to be probably hopefully more focused on the large scale modes where I think would make a little bit more sense. I mean, I played games with swimming like with Battlefield 4 had swimming. It didn't really bother me a whole lot. I'm hoping Call of Duty has the same kind of effect to it. But ultimately, I'm still more excited about the campaign, if anything, when it comes to this game. We still have a whole freaking campaign and we don't even really know anything about Special Ops rather than it's coming back as going to be like a classic co-op kind of experience like how I was in Modern Warfare 2 back in the classic version, which I am much more interested in that compared to what we have with the Special Ops in Modern Warfare 2019. It's kind of like open world kind of thing. It just didn't really play out very well. The new mode of invasion seems interesting but it's basically just team deathmatch with ai characters i'd rather just play regular team deathmatch against pvp players but yeah, maybe there might be some interesting mechanics behind that uh the rescue defense mode that they mentioned with hostages again seems like an interesting twist i don't really see myself playing it a whole lot the third person mode i don't see myself touching at all with this game it seems kind of a waste of development i mean they tried this previously in call of duty and really nobody played it. I really hope third person does not become integrated when it comes to the multiplayer side of things. I think for a shooter, first person is the way to go. Cause like I mentioned earlier that with third person, it allows you the ability to peek around corners without actually having to expose yourself with that risk reward of getting intel where players are and also having to expose yourself at the same process. So it's, eh, I don't know about third person. I like to kind of just keep it in its own mode, keep it away from everything else and uh, just Keep it over there for the people who like it. I'm currently in the works of making a review of Modern Warfare 2019 to get us all excited for Modern Warfare 2, guys. So if you guys want to catch that video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you enjoyed the video at all, make sure you tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. And if you're new to the channel or missing any content for me, like this video talking about Modern Warfare 2 could potentially still have some issues that weren't really addressed within this reveal, check out this video right here. Thank you very much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.